Hey, what's up, guys? We're Lexable back here, and today we are going to be playing Quest Shaman. Um, I honestly just wanted to play this deck that flew fling spells. I can't speak English at my opponent's face. And I mean, yes, there's Quest Hunter, but Quest Hunter is actually good, and this one's more meme fun. Um, I added interesting cards Feral Spirit and Healing Rain. Feral Spirit, I think, is just gonna be enough to help us get through the early game. And healing rain should help us survive till late as well. Like, basically, I, I ended up queuing one game where I kind of forgot that this guy was only nature spells. And turns out, when cards like overdraft are not nature, uh, lava burst is not nature. It's not ideal. Um, so I ended up cutting that and cutting some other garbage. And I think adding some extra healing to the deck, especially if we've resolved quest reward. Uh, healing rain is gonna be huge, right? It's 24 health healing. So that's kind of like a Reno for three and feral spirits is four two threes And even in the early game, it's just two two threes, which should help stem the bleeding and things like pirate warrior I'm thinking and late game. I mean four two threes is also gonna be really fucking slow even though it overloads you for like a million um But hey, you, you kind of want that right in combination with overdraft so like just otk someone um but yeah, anyways, with that being said, let's uh, let's keep the first game and hopefully things go good. All right, guys, I'll see y'all there. All right, so we're going to say Druid. My guess if it's a Druid, it's like going to be some form of a combo Druid, which means this hand is actually really solid. Gives me enough card draw to get to the late game as well. Like, actually, Spirit of the Frog gets kind of cucked by... Uh, Less seal I meant because no, we no longer have curse that costs more or less, right? Everything just cost one. It's kind of bad. If it's quest, I mean, Feral Spirit is gonna be really good. To be fair, it's been forever since I've seen a quest druid. Again, I think all the bad quests. Oh my god, it's just an anger druid. What the fuck is this? I don't remember the last time I actually queued into an aggro druid was. Like, I can actually not even tell you. I don't have mana next turn anyways, realistically, so that's fine. Uh... Okay. Uh... Is it taunt druid? What the fuck? Fucking taunt druid? Really? Really? Oh fuck. You know, believe it or not, I was not expecting to face this deck. That's not even the worst card in my deck. Hmm. I can either, if I bolt here, I cure my overload. I'd rather draw an additional card. Okay, that's fine, I guess. He's not gonna commit anything else here, so I just take this, so it is this nine, I'm at 15. I'm fairly low. 14 after he punches me with his face. Hmm. I can also play this slowly and do this, this. No, I don't think I can risk it. Let's just do this. We can hopefully cycle through a large portion of our deck next turn. Between everything we have in hand right now so yeah that's something small that's something small so far everything draw dies to perpetual flames which is pretty nice perpetual flames here is like actually an insane card because i get a cured of the overload right away we can do this 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 that's fine It's, yeah, and that's a solid three drop in this scenario. Um, just 
just want to draw a whole bunch of things with this. I have no more four drop spells in my deck, so. Just send a whole bunch of stuff like that at his face. Next turn I can do this, overdraft him. And I'll cl clear up six mana. That's fairly good. And I have still have the healing rain as backup, depending on what he does. Also overdraft at that point would just kill whatever. He can't easily kill this, so like, again, we like this is Frog is such a broken card, man. I don't know whose idea Frog was, but thank you, <laughs> thank you for allowing me to meme. <laughs> That's fine. I don't even have to overdraft that. I can just lava burst it. I can also just like torrent it. Also just trade. Yeah. Oh, I did not mean to click on that, but okay. I don't want to overload too much, but at the same time, I don't mind overloading that much. I'll play it so. I have a zero cost card to overload next turn. And, but I'm pretty sure he concedes to the healing rain. He's low enough where he would. Lightning Bloom would be the best draw on my deck. And it's not even close. So would Overdraft, actually. Overdraft would be really fucking sick. Hmm. Next turn, if I do that. I, ha I still have seven mana. Quest reward is five. I guess, theoretically, quest reward is lethal. Do I just go? I mean, if I draw lightning bloom, it's even better. Um, okay, well, I mean, I'm just going for it. If it's lethal, it's lethal. If it's not lethal, it's not lethal, right? But main thing is we tried. Oh, we got lethal, sick. Four and then five. Four and then six. Beautiful. <laughs> I know. I've, it's been a while since I've hewn into an Aggro Druid, and I didn't think they would have played this. This card seems, like, really bad, but I guess in combination with this, that's actually, like, a sick two, like, turn two. So, like, Embiggen on turn one, then on turn two. That's actually really nice. It's pretty fucking solid. Anyways, with that first one out of the way, let's, uh, let's skip the next one. All right, guys? I'll see y'all there. All right. Ah, oh, fuck, another quest hunter. This matchup feels like near impossible to win, if I'm being honest. Ten's not bad, though. That's a lot of card draw. I'll take it. I would take it. <sighs> yeah, go figure. Go figure. Play, just play your quest. I know you're going to do it. I know you're going to do it. There you go. So this card does kind of nothing. Turn two, turn three, I can do this. Turn four, I can do this. That is an option I have. Depending on what I draw, I guess that is kind of worth it. If I draw a one cost burn here though. Frog, I think that's worth it to do this. Overdraft is really, really nice, actually. I can't quite Ancestral Overdraft. But if I draw a one cost burn. No, I want to get more value. Is that too greedy? I don't think so. I think this is fine. I think this should be fine. Next turn, I have two mana. This is two. Sorry if you hear the birds in the background or noise in the background. My house is perpetually noisy. Unless it is like two in the morning, which it is not. It is 530 in the afternoon. Um, 
I think it's just this. You had a really good early game with really, really good cards. That's a really unfortunate draw. I don't even know if I want to play this anymore. Hmm. It's not even a bad draw. I want to say this though to work with this. Which means... Oh, this is... This feels so fucking bad, but... I'm going with that. Next time I can do this. This, this, this. That is so weird. Can I do that? I can't do that with any other card. That is really fucking weird. Yeah, what? Hold up. Can you do that with any tradable card? Can I just like... Okay. I guess you can do that with any tradable card? Interesting. I don't know that was a thing. Hmm. That's fine, I can beat that. I can beat that as well. I think. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm at the point where it's just like, oh, yeah, I can beat things, yes. Possibly. If I draw correctly. With this hand, though, I can draw a lot of three drop cards here. With the three drop card I wanted. I think I lose here. There's the three drop I want. I should have another one cost burn spell. But I sadly don't. I wish I actually had a lightning bloom here. I can do this. I think this is the right play here. Yeah, I think this is fine. If I survive this turn, I mean, theoretically, he has nine. So with two one cost spells to deal one, I'm dead. If not, I survive. Right? Yeah. That's like a two cost spell. I'm dead. Okay. He needs one other spell he's able to play here. He has a secret in hand. We know that for sure. Okay. Okay. Well, we survived. Hmm. This. Oh, I should have done that in the opposite order. Whoops. I don't want to be overloaded next turn. Let's just do this, I guess. So he has a secret. So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, I'm just dead anyways. Yeah. Oh, quest hunter is so fucking good. Turns out tier five decks don't be tier one decks. Oh. He even had a slow start and his list is bad running Akos. But it didn't matter. To be fair, I think that was a very different game if we would have drawn more of our early game shit and not double ancestral knowledge. But hey, what can you do? You can't you can't draw perfectly every single game. Unless you're my opponents. Uh, <laughs> um, but anyways, so that being said, let's just skip the next one. Okay. 
Okay, well, Pirate Warrior is not going to be an easier matchup. <laughs> uh... Oh, by the way, I don't think I said it, but I hope you guys have a drink. I'm currently drinking me a Dr. Pepper because that shit's fucking fire. This sounds actually not the worst hand I've seen so far. Why does my hand feel like it's really low? And his hand feel... Is it just me or does this look weird? I feel like the board's at the same place, but my hand is like smaller than normal. Am I tripping? I might be tripping. That's just a good tempo minion. I have overdraft into totem golem next turn. Although I would rather not use the overdraft. So any of the one cost overload spells, so finders keepers, bolts, blooms, weirdly enough, would be solid. Okay, well. I won't say no to this. Seeing that it gets cancelled by my here my like I was just didn't want to waste clearing my overload for one overload, but for three I'll do it. That was actually really fucking good. Yeah. They are... His hand is way lower than it's supposed to be because this is supposed to be a little bit above the corner. Which is not... That's actually really good for me. Because he's still on part one of quest, right? Yeah, he's only played one pirate. So that's really good for me, actually. Uh... Haunt? Okay, that's actually also really solid. The 4-4 four is going to be pretty solid at trading. And on top of that, I have... Fairly good burn in hand. Or he can also just have answers. That's that's also that's also okay. I guess. Completing this part of quest is absolutely nothing for him. Perpetual flame number two is okay. But not ideal. Hmm. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, not ideal, but like Perpetual Flame would be really nice. I should have actually possibly traded it to try and hit another one cost or zero cost. Oh, with all these being two health, it's like this is bad. Come on, just give me Perpetual Flame top deck. It's actually game changing here. Not the card I wanted to see. I mean, I'll take it. But I won't be happy about it. You see, this is the opposite of the last couple games where I just actually have nothing. It kind of sucks, but what can you do? Kind of just sitting here with no cards in hand. So that's the thing, right? I drew one piece of kind of card draw in Finder's Keepers, but I would have needed to draw like Ancestral Knowledge as well. Hit the O2 in my face. That's fine. I don't like... Why do people play that card? It's actually terrible. Come on, Perpetual Flame. Okay, okay, that's that's good, that's good. I said this would be good, Perpetual Flame. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not quite dead. I'll play this here because any spell top deck can help hopefully cycle into a whole bunch, like even just like a Firemancer Flurg. But I'm I'm too far behind, I think, at this point. The Firemancer Flurg here would also be nice. It does wipe his board. It takes Rakara. Yeah, the whole thing is... Is that... That's really weird. With double spells, I should be chilling. But I've played both Overdraft, so it's a little awkward. Okay. Okay. Okay, and those... These are both really weird to see in that deck. Because it feels to me like he's playing the aggro version because he's playing the crag. But I guess I could be wrong. I've been wrong before.
I'm gonna take that trade here. Build up my board as big as possible here. Okay, at least you didn't kill Frog. That's really good for me. I can still draw Lightning Bloom, which would be insane. That's fine. Do I have lethal here? If I draw lightning bloom, I think I actually do have lethal. I draw so many cards here. There's two lightning blooms left in my deck and a whole bunch of burn still. Okay, I drew both lightning blooms, I'm chilling. Get fucking cuck. I was overloaded here for like actually 50. <laughs> oh my god. Easy game. <laughs> Easy fucking game. Jesus Christ. I thought I lost that game with how good his early game was, but turns out this deck can just come back. Like it, Basically, as soon as you have to resolve that with a lightning bloom, you kind of just win. You have so much fucking damage. It's actually insane. But anyways, uh, I guess we just keep the next one. Do I have any quests? Oh, yeah, I have things here to complete. Let me complete these while I'm here. <laughs> I need to check if I had any quests. Play a whole bunch of tradable cards. Okay. Ooh, we leveled up. Okay. Deal. Perpetual Flame was an asset. Well. One other one. Oh, is this overload cards? Yeah, I've played a lot of overload cards on this deck. Oh, I'm not about to play beasts. Take 20 turns. Okay, I need to do this. Do I have any friends that are on? No? Okay. <laughs> Forever alone. Um. Yeah, all right. Let's, uh, let's, we have time for one more game. So let's, uh, let's just queue it up and see how things go. All right, guys, I'll see y'all there. Why do I hit so many fucking quest hunters, man? Can I just hit a quest hunter that, like, some, I accident most quests, please? Like, my own game. I want to keep this, but I think it's wrong. I want to keep it because it can lead to like a really, really nice curve. But both frogs are so bad. Basically, my plan was to do this turn one coin, this on two, and then hopefully just cycle a whole bunch of really cheap things, like completing quite like a whole bunch of parts of quests in one turn. But I don't think that's going to be possible. Okay, with an overdraft, maybe. But now I'm thinking also maybe holding coin to go with Spirit of the Frog might be solid as well. Hopefully that's not a snipe. Oh my god, I want to greed so badly here. Okay, I'm going to greed so badly here. I do not advise doing this at home, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta, you know, you just gotta live life. You know? If, like, the frog survives, I'm chilling, is my mentality here. Why the fuck are you playing snipe in your deck? Man is legitimately playing snipe. In Quest Hunter. I don't know if, if I'm just bad and I don't see the appeal of doing that. But what the fuck? Why is that there? Why are you teching cards to deal with this deck of every single deck that's in the game? I don't understand people. Man. Just let me meme. Okay, that's actually really solid. Really, really solid draw. Uh, we can beaker here. Okay, that's nice. Finders keepers. That's not bad. It's not bad. Whole bunch of cards in hand. And imagine if I was able to do that last turn, bro. I'd have this turn, I'd complete quest this turn, 
end it all off with an overdraft, have so much mana to play with, and just win the game. But now I can't, because my asshole opponent was playing fucking snipe mainboard, and I don't understand. Why? Why would you do this to me, man? Just let me meme. That's all I want. All I want is a, a solid meme. One meme or two, you know? I just want to be a memer, man. Let me meme. <laughs> uh... It's okay, I have way enough bursts, I think, right now in hand to just off my opponent. Which is pretty dope. I was about to say Bloom would be a really nice draw. Put that at face. Get an 0-3. Draw an overload card. Oh, that's not good. It's far from good. Uh, fuck me. I did not think about this. In the slightest. Um. Okay, well. Burn a card next turn. Burning Lightning Bloom was actually so bad. It burnt, like, so much mana. I need him to kill us now. <laughs> um, but I don't. I don't even need him to. Is a big thing. Oh well, he did. Fuck me, I guess. Um, this is gonna be really, really nice though. So I'm gonna be able to play this. Okay, so I need to play two Overload cards. So I guess it's just this, this. That's fine actually. It's a perfectly fine. It can actually be this. This. Or I can do this. Draw two more cards. So I want to save this for later, right? This I don't care about. I'll do this. This way, overdraft him is gonna deal five next turn. It's gonna cost one. I'll be at six. I'll be able to play quest reward. If not, like if I don't want to play brute gang, I can also just do a toxin fireman or firemancer toxin, depending on what he does. And this way, I go into turn seven, full mana. Villain, like a motherfucking villain. At the same time, I think I have enough health to be at a point where it doesn't actually matter. Right? Because next turn he's playing Quest Reward. His qu this only deals uh, actually deals a lot of fucking damage. Um hmm. So you see, I hope I don't die. Six. I don't have a one cost spell to kill this, which is the problem. Oh, I should have sent that here. Fuck it. I fucked up. Do I just hedge my bets here? Yeah, I'll just be safe. And this this seems like maybe a little bit too safe for some of you, but like I know that this deck can burst. Like this can be Omega Burst. I would much rather be at this much health and risk not dying than have the possibility of just randomly getting OTK'd. So, I mean, I know this is not lethal, right? This is not lethal. So, okay, well now it is, but it wasn't lethal before. Sorry, by the way, if you hear water draining in the background as well. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Easy game. We actually beat a quest hunter. To be fair, it was not odd quest hunter. It was just regular quest hunter. But we did beat them, which is pretty nice. And that you know what that means? Let's go, we're plat. Poogers. We are plats num nine. And I think that, that that means time for celebration by opening packs. Yay, classic packs. <laughs>
Uh, these are these are just yeah, I mean if these are not the classic packs, I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed. Let's do two. And this way in tomorrow's video we'll also do another two. And then hopefully in the video after that we'll have more packs open. Spreading out the love throughout the days. Right? Yeah. Let's do that. Legendary? 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 No legendary. Sad face. But we're doing legend uh classic packs because we're trying to get diamond rag. Uh trying to complete the classic set, and then from there we'll figure out what what's the next set we want to complete. We might just go like every single set getting one legendary, but hey, because eventually we do want to have the entire collection. But we open trash, so fuck me, I guess. You know, maybe one day I'll be able to actually get the legendaries I want. To be fair, <laughs> I can finish off the classic set right now with everything I'm missing with this amount of dust. But yeah, anyways, um, I just punched my mic. I am terribly sorry. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed Quest Shaman. The deck was like really fun. I fucking, I, every time I play this deck, I love it. The Healing Rain though actually feels clutch and like insane in the deck. So if you guys play this deck, I'd recommend it. So those Feral Spirits, weirdly enough, the fact that now it only overloads one uh, is actually insane. Four mana for two, two, three taunts in this meta feels like actually kind of solid. But anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, as I always say, you know. Rep the gang again. Sorry for yesterday's video being late youtube was being youtube and failed to publish it so i had to do it manually but um yeah anyways with all that being said i'll see y'all on the next one all right guys rep the gang and i'll see y'all there peace